Hey, it's James from Finny Electrical, and on today's video, we're back at this kitchen for the second fix. Remember from the previous video, there were a few appliances gone in. So we had the single oven, little combi there. What else do we have? Got the hob going in. I think we've got the dishwasher, wash machine. Hot tap going in there, extractor, so that all the appliances that'll get found up to there. We've also got some under cabinet lighting going in. So we've got under cabinet light there, there, and there. The wall's supposed to be one here, but they've decided not to put a cupboard there. So we'll have to chop that off and they can deal with that. So the kitchen company's provided some lights, we'll have to try and find those. So I'm guessing there'll be a couple of cobs under there. A little cob light there, cob light there. So that should be the under cabinet lighting. We've got a little island light to go in. So the worktop's going in today. So they'd like some granite going in with like an overhang through to get the exact middle, ping the laser up on the ceiling where we want that pendant to drop. So we'll do that when the worktops are in. Uh, and then we've got a pendant to go in over this dining room table. So again, we'll smack out the middle, ping a laser up to the ceiling and get that cable in. So first thing we'll do, we'll get these sockets all second fixed. So if you look here, we've got a little socket been plastered so we're just going to clean these out with the multi-tool so we're just basically just multi-tool to the edge going to clean these boxes out and we'll do the same with these over here just got those to clean out and to get uh, the socket fronts on and then we've got a little four gang switch which is on order so what we'll do is just temporarily put it on like a one gang switch just so they all come on just so they can actually see tonight so that's what we'll do first there's Hayden so we'll just clean the boxes out so nicely Squared off, so there's no kind of plaster hanging over the edges. Hen's just got one of these sockets. So that's uh, wired up now. So you're just gonna carry on with that. I'm gonna join him in a bit, but yeah, all these are nicely. Just chopped out, cleaned out. We'll get these wired up now, and then we'll move on to the appliances underneath. So I think we've got socket to go in down here somewhere for these two appliances. And there's, I think there's a hot tap going in. I need to check the plans. And then I think in the back of one of these cupboards, we've got the extractor as well, for this side. Yeah, so in the back of there, what we'll do is put like a, a 20 amp switch to do one of the ovens, because we brought in a feed just for that. Uh, and then we'll have to put a, a double socket as well, which will pick up the other, other oven. Can't speak to there. <laughs> so we're just up a socket at the moment. So what we've done, we've just gone to the edge box, gone four fingers, chopped it stripped it and then basically banged them in. So what you want to do is make sure there's no copper hanging out the terminal. Just want to make sure that's fully down. You're really good time with these. Obviously line, brown, neutral, blue, earth, green and yellow, yeah. And then you've got the option for these boxes uh, to put, a, it's called an earth tag. So to earth the box, you put a little little um, earth wire from here, sleeve it up green and bring it into the other earth terminal. But, with these sockets, if it's got a fixed lug, you don't need to do that. So it's just whatever you want to do as a as a installer. So then we'll get the screw back. That's how we kind of do the sockets. Set so those sockets on now. So we've got them two done. That one done. Little guy over there. So we're just going to move on to the appliances now. So in the back of here, what we've done when we wired it up, if you remember from last video, we had a leg here. So we're going to bring this underneath. In the back of here, there'll be a, a little socket arrangement. So that'll set up to the top, but towards the back. We'll cut a little 74 mil underneath so the plug tops can come through and then we'll can plug in the microwave there. Uh, and then next to that, we brought in a 20 mil, oh, sorry, 20 mil, a 20 amp feed here. So that goes back to the fuse board and that's uh, 20 amp rated. And we'll bring that up into this single one and then that'll have a 20 amp switch and that will do this oven. So that's what we'll do in the back of here. So the hinge cracking on in the back of there. So you're just getting those mounted like we said. So I've got to get a socket in the back of here, or two sockets. So we'll have to look how we do with that. We'll have to try and fit a socket, but we might stack them. So we might have a socket here, socket lower. Uh, and then these can just come along and plug in. But we've also got like a hot water tank thing. So it's going to have a hot tap. So that'll have a plug top, which should come along and plug in. And we've also got the one mil from here, which comes down and underneath here. So that needs a plug top on as well. All right, a little change of plan, just because it's going to get a bit tight in here. We're going to put one double socket here. That's going to plug in. What here is going to plug in. So all we're going to do, um, if you look here, that's the ring. So if you remember on the last video, we're going to extend the ring. So if this goes round every socket and back, so all we're going to do is, is connect 
one of the old legs to the new leg, and then one of the new legs to the old leg again. But this connection will be underneath, and this connection will get pulled into the back for that socket there. So that's that. And then in the back of here, this is where it's change of plan. We're wiring a leg over here, which I forgot about. So what we're going to do is bring this into the back of the cupboard, so we'll have a socket this side, and this plug top over each. And this here is the extractor, so just bang a plug top on that, put it in the back, plug it in. So we'll have a double socket under there for those two. So I'll do the dishwasher and extractor fan. All right, let's do this. So here we go, that's that done. So we've got the socket there, we've got his extractor plugged in, and his dishwasher. So let's give it a close. We've still got a 45 amp switch to put in there later. And we'll just stretch the little cupboard out, and we've got this in here. So that'll do the washing machine yeah. and the little boiler tap there. And if we look over this side, what have we got? See what Aiden's done. Right, so he's, he's done his socket for his, look at his fridge. So what I have to do is get a cable from here, around and wire it in the microwave and then what we have to do is get a cable out of here and wire it into the 20 amp switch which will go here so he's still got that to do i think i don't know why but he's uh he's a bit lost now doing some lights so what we do we push some cables up here so he's going to run that cable to the first point and then he's going to have to send the cable between so come out of this just daisy chain in and out of these and once it's wired up we'll get the these little cosmic down lights wired up pushed in Sound. There we go, Sadie's just firing up now. So he's got his links between. Uh, so he's just got to get his last leg in. And then what I have to do, there's uh, a cable coiled up there which we'll bring into that one. And all these will be wired. All right then, so just gonna wire up this down light first. This is little Cosnick, so it's just live, earth and neutral. So, Aiden's just brought the cable through. So here he is, pop him in there and all this it's like foam stuff just going everywhere, look at it. <laughs> so what I do is just strip two fingers like this. There you go. You want to strip about 10 mil off, off your little individual cars. And then I remember it's neutral right, line to left for this light. Bit of earth slaving on like that. The great thing about these, it's like a push terminal. So you can literally just get your, get your cores out of that, line them up, and you just give them a little wiggle. Make sure they're just push in nicely like that. Just make sure they air sit as well. Little tug test, make sure they're fully in. And then there's like a little plastic cover that goes on. So easy as that. You pick your, your colour setting, so we'll go warm white. I think they get a warm white wanted. I'm going to check for wood, make sure it's not going to land on the wood, the springs. Oh no, this foam's coming out, but there we go. That snaps up nicely. Little magnetic bezel. Look at that, jobs are good. Then. All right then, so do, we'll do these next ones. There we go, we've got these lights in then. Got two of them, we're still going to get a link back to this switch, or um, the cable above the switch. Um, got these wired in there, looking lovely. So just moving on to these appliances now. So there's a cable already on this, a white cable underneath. So what we'll do is just attach a cable, which we'll, we'll bring into the 20 amp switch. So that'll be that, but we'll leave it long enough where if you need to maintain it, you've got to pull the oven out and land it on the floor. So it needs to be a good two meters long, just coiled up underneath. So that's that. Uh, this comes with a bit of black flex on it. Uh, so we'll show you what we've done here. So we use these little Wago connectors. So these are rated at like 30 amp rated, so that's that and then these boxes you've just got like a little grip and they should snap close nicely there we go uh, and then there's like a little pin which just goes in there so i'll slot that in a bit so this end wherever it's gone we'll just push down the back get a plug top on plug in and then this microwave will be powered up obviously it's sat on like an old wooden door uh, but normally you'd wire this up on floor you know what i mean or elevated on some uh, work, them workboxes, so you can get access to terminals. 
So we'll get those wired in next. Uh, I think that's about it. After that, we're going to wire in for the hob. We can't do that till the worktop's on, so we'll see if we do that today. The next little job we'll come on to will be the undercabs. So we've marked out already, if you see that little pencil line. So we've got undercab going under here, under there, and then, well, two under here. So the cob lights come like this. Here a little, little, little cob lights, so it's just two screws. So I'll get that up. A little extended piece goes up the back. And then what the kitchen fit is done is left a little, little cut out there. If you look there, it's like a little desk tidy. So that'll pop in so you won't see a hole there. Yeah, but it's just the driver to wire in. And then all it does is this plugs into this. And then this feeds down the back and plugs into your light. And then that's how it powers up. So nice and easy. So we'll do that bit next. Here we go. So we've got the under cabinet light on. So that's looking sick. Next one on. That's looking great. And again, the... The fitter just put like a little desk tidy there, so it always kind of sits up there nicely. Hello Hayden, Hayden's doing a bit of sweeping now, like a little legend. And then we've got these here, so what I'm going to do is go up top and get those connected in. Now the customer haven't got a light yet, so we'll have to put this light that's going here another day, same again for that one. Here we go, we've finally got everything sorted then, so we've done that connection up top, so it was a bit of a nightmare that one. As you can see we've got these under cabinet lights on, they're looking brilliant now. Look at that. Spot on, they've got the granite top so much, looks cool. Obviously got the granite on here, we've ditched that cable off, all the lights are on. And also we've got a little undercab there, looking good. Got that top job, obviously all this is working. Can't beat it. Just have a quick look in the back of the cupboards, see if Hayden's finished that off. He's done that nicely, that's on, they're plugged in. We've got the appliances in the back of this one. There we go, so there'll be like a hot tap here. Obviously John has brought his plug tops to here, so we just kept doing the same thing. And then we've got his isolation up top there. And then we've got a little 45 amp isolator for the hub in the back of there, so nice and easy. So as you saw, we've got all the lighting powered up, we've got all the undercab lights on. We've got the appliances working, all the sockets second fixed. So that's kind of everything involved with the second fix of a kitchen. It's a shame we couldn't finish it fully because obviously we've got the pendant over the island and the dining room table light. So we'll have to bob back and fit that another time when they've actually bought it. So but that's as far as we can go today. So if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, have a good one from me and I'll see you on the next one. Stand there. Just <laughs> keep your head still. Look at this. Give you a right funny face. <laughs> yeah, I bet it does. <laughs> I'll show you that in a bit. <laughs> <laughs>